For the people of the Garden City, urbanization of the nation's second largest city, Kumasi, has come with its own problems. The Garden City is now a sprawling commercial hub in the Ashanti region with busy areas such as KGTR, Central Business District of Idum, Dr. Mensa, Roman Hill, the Central Market, and Unicorn House, GBC 24, takes a look at this fast developing nerve center for business. Kumasi undoubtedly is one of Ghana's major commercial areas and also serves as a transit point for many travelers who commute either from the northern part of the country down south or from the south up north. The city is also well patronized by both local and foreign tourists, particularly because of the Minxia Palace and the Asantehini. The location of the famous Kumasi Central Market, a major distribution point for farm produce, has also contributed to the huge number of people who visit the metropolis on a daily basis. Legend has it that a visiting queen of Great Britain, Queen Elizabeth, once described Kumasi as the garden city of West Africa, hence the city's nickname, Garden City. This was in apparent reference to the nice aesthetic look of the city at the time of the queen's visit. Today, however, it will not be wrong for any visitor to the city to describe it as a pale shadow of itself in view of the commercial activities that have taken over the serenity of the town. For now, demolition of some of the major trading centers in the metropolis, namely the Atonsu, Asawasi and Tafu markets for reconstruction, has been cited as a factor for the current situation. The redevelopment of the renowned KJTR terminal has also become a cause for concern and traders have taken over virtually every space of the main business areas from Alaba to Roman Hill, from Central Market to Kedetia, from Dr. Mensa to KO, from Swami Ramnabout to the Zoo, Bantama, and then from Kedetia to Edum. Motorists are also having a hectic time getting an approved place to load or offload passengers while traders are struggling to find appropriate places to do business. They have therefore taken over the newly constructed metal pedestrian footbridge linking Roman Hill and Edum. This has made movement of commuters extremely difficult. Some of the traders, commuters and motorists spoke to GBC24 about their concerns and what they expect of the reconstituted Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly. At the inauguration of the 147-member reconstituted KMA, a former chief of defense staff, Lieutenant General Seth Obing, did not mean words when he told the assembly members that their core responsibility is to the electorate of their respective electoral areas. You are to serve the people in the various electoral areas and communities to improve their general living conditions and make them part of the decision-making process and governance at the local level. The new assembly promised to serve the people to the best of their ability. For many, Kumasi can return to its former glory if all put their hands on deck and selflessly work hard for Mother Ghana.